Kodam Sensei, the secret language of bacteria. This is the topic of discussion in today's lecture. Kodam Sensing, uh, in the study of microbiology, you will get uh, this term. So, this is what? This is basically a communication language used by bacteria. Actually, what happens? The bacteria, they release chemical substances into the environment, means around them. Okay. And when the population of bacteria, means population density of bacteria is low, in that case, these chemical substances, which is which are also known as, known as auto inducers, okay, they cannot trigger any changes. But when the due to increased population density, means when the population density of the bacteria is high, in that case, what happens? The chemical substances released by bacteria, they can trigger the changes in their genes. And accordingly, they can activate different activities like uh, forming biofilms, producing toxins, then initiating bioluminescence. So, several things are there, and everything is possible due to this molecular communication system used by bacteria. But only one condition is there. If the population density of bacteria is high, only in that case this happens, otherwise not. In some cases, pathogens wait until they have built up a minimum population density of bacteria. Until they wait. Okay. And then only they attack the host. Means when the population density reaches to a critical threshold, then only the bacteria attack the host. Okay, so these are the problems. So if you can somehow disrupt this communication used by bacteria, then you can solve the problem of infections. Again, the same thing can be used uh, in case of agriculture to prevent bacterial diseases to crops. Scientists are exploring ways. They are trying to explore ways to prevent bacterial diseases to crops by using this uh, communication system. So for that, what is the requirement? A requirement is understanding this mechanism properly. Means quorum sensing. This mechanism needs to be understood properly by the scientists. Then only they can invent methods to prevent bacterial diseases to crops. Again, uh, if you can understand by going through research work on this quorum sensing mechanism, if you can understand this, uh, this mechanism properly, in that case, before starting any infection, you can disrupt the communication used by the uh, bacteria. So in that case, before the initiation of any disease, you can prevent the disease. Even before initiation. Even, even before starting the disease. Okay. That means, uh, what is this? This molecular communication mechanism is like a group chat among the bacteria. Okay. They release chemical <coughs> substances into the environment. And they also sense this thing. When the <coughs> density of this chemical substance reaches to a minimum threshold, in that case, means which is called a critical threshold, and only in that case, this triggers their genes. Means genes are switched on for, uh, for performing different purposes. Anyway, so this was all about uh, uh, the topic quorum sensing, the secret language of bacteria. Yes, no doubt this is a kind of secret language. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.